So Alan, not the greatest of games, but job done in the end, isn't it? It was, it was, uh, I've just said the lads in there, they'd, they'd done exactly what I wanted from them. Yes, we, in all honesty, I think it was never going to be a classic because we hadn't, both teams hadn't played for such a long time. And I think there was a lot of cancelling each other out in that game, you could see it. it was, they were throwing things, we were trying to break them down. And we just couldn't do it. We got a little bit of luck, in all honesty, with the penalty decision, but Dale does what he best and puts him away. And I thought after that, we defended it as well. I can't remember a, a clear chance that they actually had. The only thing we had a chance to put the game to bed when Jared and he never done so. But I think it's it could have went either way, in all honesty. But I'm just pleased that we managed to nick the win. The lads have had three weeks off roughly from a game and I knew it was going to be tough to get them going again, but that gets me ready for sad, didn't it? Like you said, it was a bit of rust just to shake off, wasn't it? Um, you could see like, the diags weren't coming off, I think, four or five. I said to the middle of the is anyone going to hit a proper diag? And it, they just kept shouting in a minute. It's one of them things that the lads, they were, they were frustrated, but we knew it was going to take time. But that result there, against a good side, by the way, I think Telford like, were played them down there. Yes, we, we're three nil up after half an hour, and them have changed a lot of personnel, but they've got some good players. Them have called problems, and I can see Rob's done his work with them, and you can see how they play. They've got two clever players playing off with number nine, and he was causing a bit of problems. I had to change it a little bit when Dale took a knock, but I could have put another centre for him, but I thought that they were dominating the midfield area, so I had to get a midfielder on and try and stem the flow from there, and I think that worked. And this is just night sight and night that you really need to dig deep to get like cook football really the example of it. You need to dig deep and sort of where you look a bit. I think that that is yeah. like we defended really well. I thought the back four defended exceptionally. There wasn't many gaps in between them, and I said to them if we can nullify the space between our back line and the midfield, that will cancel them out. And yes, they had little times, but I can't remember a shot of no to be honest with you. The free kick that. Should never have been a free kick in the first place. It was a handball that the ref never gave, and like the post from that. But other than that, I, I can't remember Sean making the save. So I think it was a job done, but like I say it wasn't, wasn't the most convincing performance. But it's a win, it's a clean sheet again. You know, like I said, you were having to concede a goal and open play for the last five games, and that's the most pleasing aspect of it. And like you said, going into a massive game on, uh, on Saturday. How are, you, how are you approaching that and how, how are the lads feeling ahead of, ahead of the ma uh, massive game? One thing for certain is the lads have been in a much better frame of mind than they were the last time we played them. Um, I think we give York a, a great game here. Um, if we took the chances early in that game, it would have been a different story. And we got punished for not taking the chances and then managed the game as well, which you would expect from a professional team. But we give as good as we got. And like I said, we could have come on another day, we could have come away with the results. Yes, they've got to change the manager, they've probably got to change the style now. So, we'll not change our style. We play the way we play because of the players I've got. And if we defend like we did today, I think we, we'll do okay. And it's something that the lads are looking really forward to, to go and play them with them present to try and get a result there. And if any result there will be brilliant. And if we can get one, I'll be chuffed a bit with the lads. And how how you approach the kind of your we sort of I expect the kind of sell out how the lads uh, fan kind of in sort of in front of a big crowd. I, th I think they love it. They love it. The bigger the crowd, the better. The, you look at some of the players we've got. I think they like it when we get that energy from the crowd, and you can see them lift themselves a little bit. And that's when you you want your big players to come to the front. But we've got Sailor he was in there do exceptionally well. The likes of Butchie, Buds and Aki back four, Demo sitting in there protecting the back four, them are the ones that people probably forget about a little bit but again, them, them will not have any problems with playing in front of a big crowd.